The men play Feng Hulu at the ancient cultural street in Tianjin while away the hours. But inside the People's Sports Center, the time is at hand for the men seeking to be world champion, warming up for the last rotation, the individual all around. And the leader by less than two tenths over Jordan Jolchev of Bulgaria is Nikolai Krukov of Russia, an unsung hero in many respects. That's true, Scott. In this World Championships, he is the only male gymnast to have five events out of a full 10-point start value. And this routine is out of 9-9. Nine, nine. Starting with a double layout. Now that's an easier line than the other male gymnasts are throwing. But when you're this close to a world title, oh, every 10th counts, and he just lost a valuable one for going out of bounds. Jordan Jovchev of Bulgaria will still have a say, but it's up to Krukov now to hold this together. Not the frontliner for the Russians, but indeed wants to be the headliner. And you know by this point, fatigue is setting in. This has been a long competition. And Krugov had to go through the qualification, team finals, and this is the third competition for him. Final tumbling line, double twist punch front. He is watering down the routine, but it might be a smart strategy. This is where he goes out of bounds. Looks really good in the air. Full twisting, one and a half twisting, but there it is, point one deduction. But there was just the one step, 9437 for Nikolai Krukov of Russia. Now Jordan Jovchev, who was second after five rotations on the parallel bars. Oh, he's throwing everything he's got into this routine. Pike pressed through the handstand. Back toss. Another double back. And again, it's incredible. He does not wear those upper arm protectors. Double pike. Jovchev needs a 9.65 to catch and surpass Krukov. He looks exhausted. Last event, Diomedov right into a double back. Look at how hard he hits that bar with his upper arms. 9-3-5 at the outset of this final rotation. Less than two one hundred separated Jovchev and Tsukahara of Japan, who was in third position. Now Tsukahara is on the floor exercise with a chance, a slight chance, to catch the gold medal. He'd need a 9-6-5 to win it. Well, he certainly started off right. Full twisting double layout. Far more difficult to do than Krukov's first line. So you know that's going to impress the judges. 9-3-7-5, and he would surpass Jovchev for the silver medal. You know, Scott, he is starting to look so much like his father, Mitsuo Sukuhara. He'd love to be the next legend in this sport. Trying to take a bit of a rest in the corner. Round off back handspring, double layout. Now that's the line Krukov started with. To finish with it is very impressive. At the end of a routine, your legs start to feel a little bit like jello, but very fresh. First line, full twisting, double layout. 9.65 is what he'd need for gold. He doesn't get it, 9.5, but it's enough for silver for Tsukahara of Japan. And so the final results, unexpected. Krukov, the young Russian, wins by one-tenth and a half over Tsukahara. Jordan Jovchev, the bronze. Chinese hope Liu Yufu winds up fifth. Three Chinese are in the top 12. They desperately wanted gold here.
but it belongs to Russia. The crowd was uh, really loud and like for China team and uh, was a lot of pressure, but the Russian team used to, to compete under this pressure. They always do well in competitions. They they known as a solid performance and um, yeah, I guess the they're happy. They did. They they they're used to to this kind of fashion, to this kind of crowd, and uh, they they did well. They did a good job. Thanks to Alexander Jelkov and Leonid Arkaev for those words. Hardy Fink of Canada presents the gold medal to Nikolai Krukov of Russia, the new world champion. Individual all around is an interesting competition. Each of the favorites on the men's side made a mistake, and that allowed Krukov of Russia to come through the back door and win right off the bat. First event, two-time world champion Ivan Ivankov gone after high bar. Scott, they pulled him from the competition because they want to save him for Sydney, and he still needs surgery on that Achilles tendon. Bondarenko, he could have won it all. A split-second miscalculated vault, and he's out. So Krukov really deserved the win. What surprises me the most are the Chinese. So strong in the team competition, but individual pressure, they couldn't handle it today. On the women's side, Olaru of Romania is the champion, and I'm wondering if this is the passing of the torch in women's gymnastics. It's always such a mixed emotion time when the torch is passed, but I'm not so sure that's the story just yet. The veterans now know what they're up against. Those young athletes are so hungry for success. I actually think the final chapter will be written in Sydney. Canadian side of the story, we saw three athletes compete here in the individual all around, but I think the key highlight has to be Kate Richardson of British Columbia. Definitely. 15-year-old Kate Richardson, the youngest member of the team, the top Canadian. She has so much in her routines, but she's even working more. Very serious goals set for Sydney.